<laughs> no, tell me why this is awkward. Like, look at this picture. So, I don't know why I was thinking about it, but the other day, I thought someone was, like, coming out of my TV because I saw, like, a handprint, so I was kind of scared. But then I thought, like, of this picture for some reason, and then I, uh, like, I thought, you know... How awkward is this picture? Like, how awkward was it to take the picture, honestly? Like, <laughs> the girl, I don't know what they told her to look like because, honestly, this is just, what? how do you get that kind of face? Like, either they're like, all right, well, uh, so you're going to make a face and it's going to be like you've been constipated for the last half an hour and just put a crown in your head and tilt it and whatever. And, uh... <laughs> honestly i guess they must have came up with that or they could have been like it look like you're just a slutty wasted chick at a party having a great time and that's pretty much what that looks like i don't know that would be like do you like scream for the picture as they do it like i would not be able to make that face ever i'm if that photo alone costs like a million dollars then yeah, I'll make any face. I'll make that face. I'll, I'll do anything, but <laughs> honestly, I I just don't know. Be awkward, but anyways, what's going down in Chinatown? I used my old intro. Yo, what's up, chicken strips? This is Linux MLG, and in case you don't know what I was just saying, uh, I had an old intro because my name used to be Chi Town Prodigy, and everyone thought it was Chi Town, like like Chinatown or something. And so every single time they'd call me Chai Town. So I made up an intro that's like, what's going down in Chinatown? And <clears throat> um, then, you know, now I'm Linux. And it wouldn't really make sense. Even though, you know, Chicken Strips makes perfect sense for Linux MLG. So that's why I kind of adapted to Chicken Strips. But anyways, this one, I'm, I'm just pretty much, this commentary, I'm going to rant you know, you could call it complaining if you want, because I'm, at this point, it's not constructive criticism, because I, I hate the fucking living guts out of David Vonderhaar. Or, you know, I don't know if he's the actual person that designs the game as far as, like, or not the design, really, the ideas of the game. I'm pretty sure he is, obviously, because that's why everyone, you know, calls out on him and everything, so, you know... You're just, I would call you a dumbass, but that would be offensive to every other dumbass I've met in my life. And, you know, it's just coming to a point here. I'll start off with as far as connection. Okay, so you come up with the ideas. If, as far as connection goes, I don't know if you're the person that runs it. Oh, and by the way, this is a uh, league play. I go 32 and 10. Um, uh, CTF, obviously on raid. So, anyways, let me continue. So, connection, I don't know if he's the per. I, I know he's not the one making the connection. Um, but I don't know if he's supposed to be the one that tells people, look, like, you gotta switch, switch this up. I'm pretty sure he's the one that does that, so that's why he's getting complained at right now by me. <clears throat> um... Honestly, it's the worst connection-based game I've ever played in my life, and and any connection-based. Well, you know, I'm talking about of like the generation that can handle a decent connection, and there's still a crap ton of games that can handle a decent connection that were old games that were, ran fine. There is not okay, and some friends were arguing me right. <clears throat> They're arguing to me about. That they say ping means everything in the game, which isn't true at all. It's all about your um. It's all about your upload speed. And ping is a little planet, but if you don't know what ping is, this is what ping is. So if you take your controller, right? All right. So you're moving with you. Let's just say you're moving forward with your left analog stick, okay? And then you turn left, all right? So you or not turn left, you aim left with your right analog stick so you press left now although it, it's in milliseconds so you can't really tell they're shorter than seconds like a lot shorter than seconds it's milliseconds it's like um what uh uh point one thousand times a second i think point one thousand times i'm pretty sure times a second so it's so hard to tell so what happens is when you press left to aim left that's like the response time. So when you press it, actually, 
your guy doesn't so okay let me give you an example if you have a 40 ping okay if you press left on the analog stick to aim it won't actually aim until 42 milliseconds after you press the right analog stick left to aim left um if you can understand what i mean um okay so here i'll give you like a weird example sort of so let's say you trained a dog right and when you trained him and whenever you say walk forward the dog walks forward <clears throat> let's say what your dog is your dog takes a second to respond to whatever you say so if you say all right yeah you know what all right skippy if that's your dog's name walk forward and then your dog doesn't actually respond to what you say until a second later that's what it is only it's in milliseconds like i said so it's a lot harder to tell so of course it does matter in some situations when you have like a one second ms because it's automatically responding as far as you know hit markers go and when you're turning the corner that's that's upload so you know when all those kills where you're way on the corner but you die and the, on the kill cam the guy you weren't around the corner yet that's your upload that has nothing to do with ping that's all your connection based and upload is mostly your connection download doesn't mean anything download literally or from what i know download doesn't mean anything for your connection really i you know i have to look it up i don't know for sure why upload actually why that's what it is why that's mostly connection based i can't tell you that reason but i know for a fact that's what it is that's like lag comp like if you're on a west coast uh connection and you play on east coast that's gonna happen a lot more where if you shoot a guy like the times where you shoot a sniper but a sniper kills you and then it says that you never shot yours you might be either you're probably on their host or they're on the east east coast connection and playing on an east coast host and your west coast that's when that stuff is gonna happen um and things like getting killed around the corner it's stuff like that that's what your upload comes into play when you have a higher upload that doesn't happen as much but of course black ops 2 sucks so it's still gonna happen but if you have a better connection it's not gonna happen as much now this is probably gonna be a one part Part, I mean, a part one because of the fact that that was so long to explain. But, uh, anyways, something else, man. The guns. You gotta, as far I'm gonna talk about David Varner actually a little bit. You gotta listen to your fans. Like, if you wanna lose money, then keep doing what you're doing, David. Like, honestly, keep doing what you're doing, and you're on a smooth path of failure. But that's the way you wanna go if you're not listening to your fans. Obviously, that's the way you wanna go. You, you're making money, so you're saying, oh, I don't care. People are going to buy it anyways. Yeah, but what happens when a game comes in, Titanfall, let's say, for example, which looks really good and is actually made by people that made your engine for MW2 and made the game at least survive a bit. But then Robert Bowling was the one that came in and put all these stupid ideas, like whatever it was, like Commando and sh stupid shit like that. And... But these were the guys that made the engine that everyone liked. And so now, I don't know if they're making the ideas. I'm sure there's someone else behind it, like a David Vonderhaar or Robert Bowling. But I can't really say that because that would be an insult to whoever's running it. So, um, that guy is probably giving the ideas. Hopefully he has good ideas. I mean, hopefully he listens to the community if they, you know, say something like they, they don't like. If, like, it's crazy. Uh, I, it, it honestly is. You're catering to... You're trying to cater to competitive players, which, you know, obviously this game, competitive has blown up because of this game, but this game still sucks. Pros still hate this game. They're glad that they made, the only reason, it's not even, it's not even you guys. I don't know why anyone gives David Vonderhaar or Treyarch, honestly, it's not, it's not David Vonderhaar or Treyarch that made this game successful. It's the people of competitive that implemented the score streaks and made this game more open to ideas so that pub players and other people could enjoy actually watching it and also want to convert into it because if people watch and people enjoy watching it they end up wanting to play once they start to play they want to get better they play it more and that's how it goes so it, it has nothing to do with Treyarch or their game they had no there's nothing if they implement if they did something for COD Champs if they gave some of the money whatever 
<clears throat> towards it well then in that way they helped they help okay because obviously that was the most showing any call of duty stream has ever had so in that thank you but now get on to the stuff everyone cares about okay like if you really care about the game competitively you'll help out the competitive at least if you're not gonna help out pubs at least you would help out them out and right now the only successful thing you have in your black ops in your call of duty games Treyarch is nazi zombies uh wait for a part two i hope you enjoy this one see ya